Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for your uh, attention and participation. My name is uh, Davide Campanini. I'm a structural engineer and uh, I work in Caracol as a corporate product manager, especially for a structural strengthening system. Um, I would like to thank also my colleagues from uh, Sadat Tremuri, in particular my colleague Davide, uh, for uh, this occasion and uh, this partnership that uh, we have been developing during the years. Uh, today is the first time we uh, do a webinar in English and uh, the main topic of the webinar is uh, Mesory. Especially we are going to talk about uh, some uh, structural strengthening system technologies that can be applied on Mesory. Uh, in the first part, uh, I will talk about uh, the technology and uh, uh, how they can, uh, can be applied, how they are installed, how they are certified. And in the second part, David, I will show you some uh, uh, example, some case studies with uh, Termuri. Afterward, you can always uh, ask a question writing in the chat and uh, we will reply at the end of uh, both uh, speeches. So, uh, I, as I told you, I work in Caracol, who is a B Corp uh, manufacturer who works in the uh, construction field, uh, especially it provides a range of products of uh, materials for construction, especially buildings. So sealants, adhesives, grout, mortar, waterproofing, uh, etc. Today, as we said before, we are going to talk about the uh, structural stre uh, strengthening systems. So we are talking about mortar. Uh, we are going to we are going to talk about grids. We are going to talk about uh, sheets. Uh, in this uh, picture, on your left, you can see all more or less all the range of structural strengthening products actually uh, starting from now we are not going to talk about just products but also systems because what is important is the combination between two components so since we are talking about si system in this case we are going to talk about composite system in particular today we are going to talk about srg and frcm frm which are uh, two systems that can be applied on Mesory, which is the topic of today. But uh, as Kergal, we have an uh, entire uh, range of products that can be applied on Mesory, but also reinforced concrete. Today, we just focus on gesture system, SRG, and the first CM. Uh, but uh, generally, what we can always say about uh, all our products and system that they are certified and validated. What's that, what uh, does that uh, mean? It means that uh, we did uh, a lot of tests, but not like uh, tests for characterization of the single material, but real scale tests. That means that we create beam or columns or walls, etc. We strengthen them and we try to understand if the design is uh, uh, done correctly, the formulas uh, reflect the reality. So we want to evaluate the real behavior of uh, elements after, after the reinforcement. Of course, we collaborate with a lot of university, the most important in Italy, where we are, where we settle, but also all over the world. But uh, let's go to the topic of today, so the strengthening. Why do we strengthen? Actually, there are many reasons. Uh, we do, do not always have to think about the seismic, the dynamic behavior, which is, of course, one of the most important reasons. But once we approach to a structure, uh, whatever it is, we have to think about its, its uh, story, how it is built, and uh, uh, all the factors. For example, we have also concentrated about the status of the material. So we have to validate if there's a deterioration, which is in progress or which is uh, has been already done but in some case we have to strengthen structure also because uh, we have to increase uh, to increase the load uh, such in the second case or after some exceptional events for example in winter if there's an exceptional uh, snowstorm we might have the necessity to increase the strength of the structure or for example uh, fire it can be it can be one of the causes but uh, uh, one of the most common causes is uh, uh, to strengthen the structure to resist uh, to the earthquake. Uh, in Italy, we, we have uh, 
uh, a lot of earthquake. It's in a seismic zone, as it is known. But also, there are also other areas in Europe that suffers uh, of this uh, of the problem of earthquake. We are th thinking about the Balkanic area or Portugal or many other e areas. What we want to do is that, uh, uh, as an engineer, we want that our structures as a good answer due to seismic loads. So what we want to do is to reduce the vulnerability of the buildings. So their answer, the damage should be uh, not important. So what we want to avoid is to have something like we see in those pictures. We are talking about measury. So every time we talk about measury, we talk about the geocalce uh, line of product. Why geocalce? Uh, because it's a specific product uh, studied for measuring because it has high level of compatibility, which is, uh, I would say, one of the most important word, word uh, when we talk about measuring. Why? Because it has to respect uh, the buildings and uh, its um, chemistry. For example, it has to have a high breathability so the measuring can breathe. The people inside can have a good quality of the air. But uh, since we are talking about uh, strengthening system, so strength, these mortars is a really high uh, compressive strength, 15 megapascal, which is pretty high for a um, poor natural NHL uh, mortar. But it's also an elastic modulus, which is comparable to the uh, one of the measuring. Last but not least, uh, it is studied to have a perfect interlocking, interlocking, which is the bond that the matrix, in this case the mortar, creates with the steel sheets and steel grid and meshes. Let's go to the first system, first composite system. I will say system many times today. Um, it is composed by the mortar that we just talked about and the, our steel system. The acronym is SRG, Steel Reinforced Grout. For measuring, uh, still because uh, the SR, uh, the um, just steel is made by galvanized steel fiber sheets. Uh, the um, combination of these two elements can be applied on measuring. We are talking always about the low thickness strengthening system because, as we'll see in the, the next slides, the total thickness is just about one centimeter, not more. How is uh, just steel uh, composed? How it is made? It is made by uh, a very high strength steel. It's a paralytic steel. That means that if you look at the technical data sheet of our just steel products, you will see that the tensile stress is 300 megapascal, which is really high for a steel. Then uh, the cords um, are made by five micro cords. Which, which has a, a particular uh, combination and placement. That means that there are three, three uh, straight and uh, two twisted uh, around them. That's why, because we want to increase the interlocking. We have a perfect interlocking. That means that my sheets uh, perfectly collaborate with my matrix, which is a mortar. Finally, uh, all the cores are um, uh, as a, have a protective zinc coated. That means that uh, uh, we guarantee high, and high durability of the products. Uh, we have uh, four densities of uh, Gestil, Gestil G600, 1200, 2000, uh, and uh, 3300. Uh, we just show two of them here because uh, this uh, day we are gonna just focus on measuring. When we talk about measuring, we always talk about mortar, geocalce. So we can install just the uh, two lowest uh, densities of, um, of, uh, of uh, sheets. That's why, because the mortar has to pass through the voids to create a bond, an interlocking. That's why we can just use G600 and G1200. The uh, highest density can be installed with the resin, which is not uh, very compatible with, mo with the measuring. That's why when we talk about measuring, we just focus on geocalce and that, that's true density of uh, just steel. The only difference is the uh, distance between the cords. As you can see from this picture, here in G600, there's uh, a quite big space between cords. Here, the space is reduced. I said our just steel because we are very proud of it. We are uh, the real manufacturer of just steel. It is, brutal, it is produced uh, here in Sassuolo. There, uh, you can find uh, on our website uh, a link. 
which explain all the process that we, we do to make it. Uh, now we do not have the time, so we have to move uh, forward. The other system that we are going to talk today is the FRCM. It's again a low thickness strengthening system. The FRCM is the acronym for Fiber Enforced Cement Tissue Mortar. Another uh, acronym is FRM, Fiber Enforced uh, Mortars. Uh, it's the same uh, thing as before, which is the difference that before we talk about Gestil, which is uh, unidirectional uh, sheets. In this case, as you can see, we have a, a, a grid, so a bidirectional uh, grid, which is, of course, installed with our uh, mortar, Jocalce Fantisismico. In this case, we do not have an application uh, with strips, but this is spread all over the world, like in this case. Let's focus again on the material. Uh, we choose a balanced biaxial grid, which means that uh, you have uh, the same quantity of fiber on both direction. In this case, we use a natural fiber, which is basalt, which, uh, as you know, is uh, uh, produced uh, from uh, rocks, volcanic rocks. And uh, the other uh, plus of uh, this uh, grid is that uh, there are also some uh, stainless steel microfilament uh, that uh, increase the ductility and the stability of the grid. As we have for uh, just steel, also in this case, we have uh, different densities. We are talking about uh, just steel grid 200 and 400. In this case, the spacing within the uh, basalt fiber is more or less the same. But uh, yeah, of course, for the just steel uh, grid 400, there's the double of the area of the quantity of the fiber, of basalt fiber. Also, the Geogrid 120 is uh, made uh, of basalt, but is uh, a particular grid for no structural application. So we are not going to talk about it today. Whereas the Rinforzo RV100 is uh, a, a structural uh, uh, grid, so it is comparable to just a grid 200 more or less, but is not made up by a natural fiber, which is the, um, the big news. It is made by glass fiber and aramid fiber. What I told before that uh, we are very focused about certification. All of our product has to be certified. In this case, we want to certify the entire system. We, uh, we pass through a very long process, but uh, we are proud to say that we are the first manufacturer with an FRCM, a surgery system with the CM market. We are actually we are the only one, the only and uh, one with this kind of certification, which is recognized in all the, um, Europe, as you know. Uh, so uh, we uh, have uh, two different uh, ETA, one for Geostil and Geocalce Fantisismico, one for Geostil Grid and Geocalce Fantisismico. And of course, we can provide you some declaration of performance. This is very important because uh, um, in uh, during the certification, uh, we did, of course, a lot of tests and the mechanical parameters achieved from this test are very important to the design, which is, of course, uh, a very important part uh, for all the engineers. We are talking about structural strengthening systems, so we cannot take anything for granted. We have to calculate uh, uh, specifically, which is the increase of strength, which is the behavior of the structure or the behavior of the element that we are going to stress. How can we do that? Since we are talking about uh, pretty not about this system, there's uh, no specific chapter in uh, national code. I'm talking about in, uh, Italy, for example, in the Italian national code, there's not a specific uh, chapter for FRCM. That's why there's uh, another document, which is uh, totally reliable, which is, uh, since it is made by the CNR, um, it, it is the CNR 215. The title is exactly Guide for the Design and Construction of the Externally Bonded Fiber Reinforced Inorganic Metric System for Strengthening Existing Structure. So that's exactly what we are what we are talking about. Uh, they just use a lot of words to explain it. Uh, because of uh, how it is calculated, because of the design that is required to this document, we made a lot of tests. We made some tests with uh, uh, just uh, pure fiber. But what is important, as I said from the beginning, is the behavior of the system. That's why we made some tests, which are, of course, mandatory for in order to obtain this level of certification that are called single up shear tests. 
They are fundamental in order to understand the behavior of a FRCM and the SRG system because uh, the bond between the strengthening system and the structure is extremely important. The system just work uh, uh, because of adhesion, of friction between the system and the structure. That's why it has always um, be uh, applied on the structure. It cannot be applied on the plaster, for example. We are doing a structural strengthening system, so we have to apply it on the structural element. That's why, in the, as you see in this picture, the strengthening system is applied directly on uh, measury bricks or, or tough bricks. So an element, so a measury element. In this, uh, thanks to uh, this test, we can understand the uh, behavior of the interaction of the, the two components, the structure and the composite system. That help us to provide the, the sigma, so the tension that uh, can be achieved by my composite system when it works on that specific kind of measure. Another very important test is the uh, pull-out test, which is made in order to certify the anchorages. Since we decided to go through the CA marking, we decided to make additional tests in order to certify our anchorages. That's very important because we want that our system starts working as soon as we want. So thanks to the anchorage, which has cert certified. So as you can see here, we uh, reached the fiber rupture. I told you before, 300 megapascal of tension. It is important because we are sure that the, our system starts to work uh, working as soon as they want after the anchorage length. And that is made, of course, in uh, on bricks and also on tufts. All these tests and many others are also do uh, uh, are also uh, done have been done on um, some uh, conditioning uh, ambient, for example, uh, alkali soil or salt water or under uh, fuel. So we tested them in a normal condition, and also in a, some stress condition in order to understand, to be sure that our system can work even in the, the real cases, even in stress condition. Let's now go to the exact uh, reinforce. So we are going to see how uh, can we strengthen our uh, our structures. We just we are just going to talk about the mechanism of the two, uh, which is uh, recognized in literature as a mechanism that uh, occurs in plane, so in uh, the walls. And um, what is uh, uh, easily to recognize when we talk about in plane mechanism, the uh, diagonal cracks that are in the in the walls. Uh, as you all know, they are made. Uh, uh, because of shear, um, uh, shear forces, and uh, uh, they are dangerous, of course, because uh, the structure can collapse. So the shear failure was uh, is one of the most common. And now we see how can we strengthen this kind of structures. We started with SRG, SRG, which is the first system that uh, I showed you before. Thanks to this system, we can increment, we can increase the shear and the bending strength. How can we can increment it with the vertical strip? Of course, the bending uh, strength, and uh, with the combination of uh, vertical and horizontal strip, we can increment also the uh, shear stress. Why do we need both uh, uh, direction? Because uh, we have to um, build the more triangle. So we have some element that work in tension. Uh, in vertical and horizontal, uh, we know that uh, measure doesn't have a really good, we say, a, a negligible uh, uh, tensile strength. That's why we need some uh, SRG strips uh, uh, in uh, in vertical. Whereas the truss, the diagonal truss, uh, can be uh, absorbed by measure since it has a really high uh, compressive strength. That is not a problem. As you can see, the application is really, really simple. As I told you before, it is made in more or less one centimeter. You just have to apply one layer of mortar to the structure. Uh, since uh, metric structure are always rough, you don't have to, to do specific preparation uh, usually. You just have to wet the surface because we don't want that the uh, metric absorb the water from the mortar. So we have to wait uh, to wet the surface, then you can apply the first layer of mortar, just a few millimeters, and the strips. When we have the intersection between the horizontal and the vertical strips, um, 
we have to make some uh, uh, steel connector, which is which are made uh, in situ, directly in situ with our steel products, and uh, they need to be installed in order to pre uh, prevent the detachment of the system, in order to have a better anchor disc. Uh, finally, we have to put the second layer of mortar just to protect our system, and then we have to inject. Uh, uh, the uh, gestil connector. How do we inject it? We do not use Geocalce F antiseismico. We, ju we, just, uh, we just use Geocalce FL antiseismico, where uh, FL stands for fluid. This kind of system can be applied uh, in um, on measuring structure, as I told you before, and it can be applied on stone measuring, as you can see. You can see some picture for real application. So uh, the importance of preparing the surface to prepare the uh, place for uh, the strips, the particular of the injector connector which help you to apply the steel connector and the final application. The system can be applied also on uh, uh, combined, mixed or uh, uh, brick measure because there's no problem at all. As we saw before, our system are certified or every, on every type of uh, measure. What is a system, a system which is very likely to this is the one that we saw before, the FRCM. The only difference is that the SRG is made by GeoSteel, which is an unidirectional uh, steel fiber sheet, so it has to be applied in strips. Whereas when we talk about the FRCM, we have a bidirectional, we have bidirectional grids, uh, so it uh, can be applied all over the world. But uh, the phases are basically the same. So the application is really fast, easy, and can be done by everybody who normally works on a construction site. Here you can see some other example of applications. So the application of just steel connector, uh, the uh, application of the first layer of uh, mortar, and then the just steel grid. And here, more or less, the final application. We just need to apply the second layer of Jokal Chef Antisismico. I also want to strengthen your attention on this picture because uh, you can see the overlap length. Actually, it is an error. I just decided not to delete this photo to show you that the um, overlap length is very important. It has to be more than 20 centimeters, thanks to some uh, real scale tests that we did. And in this case, probably they are not 20 centimeters. So we have to learn from mistakes that are, that are uh, made on site. It is very important, the overlap length, as uh, it is for uh, rebars in concrete. If we want the, the stresses transfer from one uh, layer of grid to the others, the overlap length should be respected. This uh, type of strengthening system can be applied also on measuring um, uh, structures uh, with uh, bricks because there's no problem at all. You see the particular fabrication of our steel uh, connectors, which are installed with the uh, Jocalce FL antiseismico. And, but when we are talking about strengthening system on brick, we can also use another type of connector, which, which are uh, faster uh, and uh, to be installed. There are some uh, helical rebars. Uh, the procedure of the installation is always the same. So it, uh, first layer of mortar, second. And, uh, but before, in order to install our connector, which are uh, helical steel, uh, uh, stainless steel uh, rebars. We have to drill a small hole in the wall, actually a uh, hole which is uh, uh, which has a diameter lower than the diameter of the bar. Then the bar should be installed um, with uh, its uh, driver attachment only by percussion. In this way, the driver uh, just uh, um, uh, gain some um, uh, friction uh, with uh, the substrate and so it can be style, installed without any kind of injection and mortar. It's a dry installation. That's why it call, they are called steel dry fix. After that, we can uh, close the connector with the connection cap, just uh, uh, rolling them uh, around the bars, or we have to bend the bars. All this system has to be calculated, as we see before, um, which is the better. Uh, it depends, of course. We can calculate it. We can, for example, decide a specific uh, interspace uh, for uh, uh, streets that can uh, um, provide the same strength of the uh, FRCM 
it depends it is always has to be calculated according to the cnr uh, what is important of this system that since they are applied in uh, uh, with uh, um, low thickness they do not increase the the mass the weight of the structures so they not do not change the stiffness that means that uh, uh, dynamic behavior of the element and then the structure remain the same that is very important because we just increase the strength of the element and its ductility i said it at the last slide just uh, because i want that uh, uh, you will remember it we, because it is a very important concept that uh, the three uh, that uh, properties it also allows us to apply this strength system even on just one side of the wall if required i'm not saying it uh just uh, because i work in this uh, for a company that's some material but because there are, uh, this is written in cnr uh, 215 and also because there's uh, we made some tests to pr to check to provide some uh, important results this is the just a few more pictures about the installation um you see the first thing installation of the drivings which is extremely fast just a few seconds to make the all and few seconds to install just with percussion the, the steel drivings then the application of the sandwich we can call it mortar um, grid and mortar so thank you for your attention uh now uh, it's time for uh, the other david that is going to talk about uh, after me uh, we will uh, answer to your question after the end of uh, its presentation. Thank you. I'll see you later. Good morning. This is David Seni from Stadata and the product owner of Termoni. First of all, I would like to thank you, Caracol and especially Engineer Campanini for today's meeting and for the collaboration about FRP and FRCM for the strengthening of uh, civil structures that uh, uh, our company has been uh, developed during the last years. Today, we are going to see uh, an application of the FRCM reinforcement from Caracol on a Mason instructor. As you can see on uh, my screen, uh, this, uh, we have uh, um, Meson instructories uh, made with uh, the software Tremuri, in which we have already calculated the, the pushover analysis to make the, the seismic assessment of the structure. On the details of the um, analysis calculated, you can see the 24 analyses that uh, are mandatory for the uh, Euro codes to be calculated. And especially there are some analyses uh, that are um, uh, highlighted in yellow that are the two most significant ones, the number 15 and the number 23. These are the worst analyses, one in the X direction and the other one in, in the Y direction. Uh, on, the on the right of this uh, window, you can see also the near collapse, sever damage and uh, limited state damage um, coefficient for the seismic assessment calculated by the software. Selecting one of these two analyses, in this case number 23, we can uh, click on the, button for, on the button for display analysis details and go through the details of the results of the analysis. This is the windows on the details of the analysis. This window is divided into four in four parts. On the top left, there is a, there are all the analysis calculated as we have seen before. Uh, on the uh, on the left, there is also uh, the plan of uh, our building, uh, in which we can uh, see how uh, is uh, uh, the uh, deformated. Uh, uh, the plan of, of our building during the calculation. So we can uh, introduce a scale to better understand which are the deformation and we can go through the levels or through the walls to see what happens to our structures. Then on the right there is the pushover curve itself and uh, there is uh, uh, the uh, view of uh, uh, the selected wall in which all the color represent uh, the uh, damage of uh, uh, the each elements and uh, uh, which is the state of the elements during the calculation. In this case, uh, we are looking at a step inside the, the calculation. Going through the walls, uh, we can see uh, the different uh, um, damages on all the uh, on all the walls, and uh, we can uh, look for the one that has uh, uh, failed 
uh, during the calculation to understand which are uh, the part of the structure that they need a strengthening. Uh, with this table, it's easier to understand which are the walls uh, more, uh, more damaged and uh, with uh, the percentage of the measure uh, related to, to the wall or related to the whole uh, building. Uh, selecting the, the wall and then uh, clicking on, uh, on the button on the arrow, uh, we can uh, see automatically uh, the wall that you, uh, we have selected in the, into uh, the table and see that uh, in this case uh, we have two measure pairs that are the two one in orange that uh, uh, have been damaged for shear, so, or better, have been failed for shear. Uh, as you can see also with the tooltip uh, that there is uh, the, the dimension of, of the measure repair, uh, the, um, the material and uh, the uh, damage state. In this case it's shear failure. Okay, uh, we can do uh, the same for the other uh, main uh, analysis, uh, the number 15. Uh, also in this case, uh, clicking on the uh, question mark, we can see that in this case there are two uh, walls that are damaged, or better, that, 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 uh, the failures. Uh, the na wall number one that we can see at the beginning and the number two. Uh, clicking on, uh, on the arrow, uh, again, uh, we ca can look for uh, the um, elements that are uh, failed. In this case, we have only one measure repaired. Uh, the other two that are uh, light orange, let me say, are uh, uh, in a plastic uh, for, uh, for shear, but uh, not yet failed. So, we have seen uh, what are the uh, walls that uh, are more damages in uh, the y direction in the x direction, the wall number one and the wall number three. So, we can move back to the structure tab and see how we can uh, uh, model the reinforcement. So uh, these are in the plan the, the wall that uh, we have seen before in the results, uh, wall number one and wall number three. We can uh, open uh, the wall uh, number one in uh, the modify uh, mode. Uh, this is the window also that is used to uh, input uh, wall characteristic at the beginning of the modulation. So we have the uh, geometry of, uh, of the wall uh, the materials uh, and uh, um, a part dedicated to uh, the, the reinforcement. So, uh, in this case, the, the material are, are bricks, so uh, a very simple material. But uh, and but we can move uh, through the reinforcement, uh, selecting uh, the um, this part and opening the dedicated windows. In this case, we can uh, uh, model reinforcement measuring. FRP, FRCM reinforcement, and uh, uh, the reinforcement applied on uh, a side of, of the wall. Uh, for this uh, webinar, we are going to see how to uh, introduce uh, an FRCM reinforcement. So we can select it from uh, uh, this window and add a new uh, material with, uh, with the plus. Um, this is the uh, window of, that represents all the data needed to uh, introduce a reinforcement, uh, so the part dedicated to the support and the part dedicated to uh, the, the grid or uh, uh, the net. Uh, you can uh, insert, uh, select uh, the kind of reinforcement you need, so FRP or FRCM, the two are very similar but have some uh, data that are uh, different from uh, these two ones, but you can insert it manually or you can open uh, the um, library of the reinforcement. Into the library, uh, we have uh, two, uh, two, two sample um, elements, uh, but uh, we can also uh, have uh, the, uh, directly uh, the, um, the product from uh, uh, companies like Caracol. So you can select a sample one or you can uh, go through uh, the uh, library of the companies and uh, introduce what, uh, what are your needs. To introduce uh, the libraries of the company, at the bottom of these windows uh, there is a button that is Download Manufacturer Libraries uh, that is connected directly to uh, our website. And from our website, you can uh, download uh, the uh, materials or better the libraries of the uh, of various companies. Okay, let's move back to the software and uh, we can select uh, the library from Caracol and the material from the FRP, for example. Uh, on the right uh, of the window, uh, there will be appear all the, all the parameters uh, of uh, the, uh, this kind of reinforcement, uh, but uh, not only the parameter of the reinforcement, but also a part uh, 
uh, related to the material and the elements on which the reinforcement can be applied. So looking at uh, the window, there is a, a short description, uh, the fiber type, uh, the stripped width and the equivalent thickness, and uh, for example the tensile strength, that are all parameters of, uh, of the material, that are uh, related to the material itself, but also a part uh, related to uh, um, a sort of control uh, in, to uh, which uh, um, that can help uh, the, the user to uh, select uh, the, the right reinforcement. In this case, this reinforcement can be applied on a reinforced concrete element and in particular to columns, beams and, uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, there is also the uh, application methodology uh, that can be used for this kind of reinforcement. So uh, this reinforcement can help you if you want to uh, a reinforcement like this one, so the one that are written in the, in the last row. In red, at the bottom of these windows, uh, the, the, it's written uh, the, the check uh, of, the, of the compatibility of the material and the, and the reinforcement. In this case, uh, it's written that you cannot use this reinforcement for the masonry. Now we can move to uh, the uh, Geosteel uh, G1200, that is the one of the reinforcement that David shows you before in the first part of this meeting. <coughs> this will be also the reinforcement that we are going to use to uh, strengthen our structure. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, uh, on, the on the right uh, the red, the red, the red, the red parameters of this uh, reinforcement as for the FRP, but uh, uh, also there are the, the same parameters we have seen before, but also a part dedicated to the conventional uh, parameters. These are the parameters related to the uh, conventional support on which uh, in the 215 code uh, these uh, uh, materials are uh, being related to uh, use uh, the uh, conventional uh, parameters for this uh, uh, for this reinforcement. So uh, you can uh, use them uh, only uh, if uh, uh, the support on which you are going to apply uh, to apply them is the one uh, is the same or that uh, has been set for the test in the in the code for the uh, DT215. Uh, also, in this case, uh, uh, is reported uh, the material for which the FRP, uh, oh, sorry, the FRCM in this case, is can be uh, applied. In this case, is masonry. Uh, uh, also, in uh, the uh, elements in which is uh, applicable, uh, in this case, are columns and, uh, and walls. And the last one, also in this case, are the uh, application methodology that can be used for this kind of reinforcement. Now we can see also another way to introduce uh, uh, libraries because all the users can also uh, create uh, their own library uh, creating uh, from the scratch a new um, um, material uh, maybe they uh, want would like to insert something that they are commonly they commonly used and this uh, library can be recalled in the same uh, window of the all the producer libraries so uh, move back to moving back to the library of caracol and we select uh, the geosteel um, the last option is to uh, select if you want to apply the reinforcement to both the peers and spandrels or only on one of these elements. Uh, going to clicking on OK, we can uh, um, go back to the windows in which we can insert all the, the other parameters. Uh, as you can see in, on the top, there is the, the option to use the, the conventional values or not. Clicking on it, uh, you can see that uh, the, the values from the library are changed, starting from the one of the test made by Caracol on the, or the other one that are the conventional one. Uh, from uh, from the code, uh, we have to add uh, some values about the material, or the, the measuring material on which the uh, uh, reinforcement is applied. Uh, we have to give a name to our reinforcement to uh, find it in uh, inside the, the the modeling, and then clicking OK, we can go back to uh, the modify window of the of our wall and uh, uh, selecting the FRCM reinforcement on it. Now the FRCM reinforcement is applied on the uh, whole wall of uh, our, um, our building. 
Okay, so now we have to um, understand how this reinforcement uh, has changed the behavior of our statues. To do this, uh, we can open a, a model, uh, or better, the, the same model in which we have applied the reinforcement, but that we have already calculated to, to speed up our presentation. So uh, we can move uh, uh, to uh, the uh, table of the results, as we have done for the model before, and we can see that uh, the uh, uh, assessment of this uh, uh, chapter is uh, uh, improved uh, uh, related to the one we have made in the chapter before. Uh, also, in this case, there are the highlighted the, the two uh, worst analyses for uh, uh, both directions, the X and Y. And uh, we can uh, move also in this case through the details uh, to understand if uh, the uh, reinforcement uh, has uh, been good for uh, our structure. So we can see that in the, in the world number one, uh, the elements now are not uh, failed. In some cases, uh, they are uh, plastic, but not I mean, there is any failure. And we can move to the other um, analysis that is the worst in this case to see also uh, what happens in uh, in the wall uh, number three. Uh, we applied the reinforcement uh, all, uh, also in uh, in this wall, as you can see from the tooltip. Also in this case, uh, the uh, damage the, the wall is not failed, but uh, is damaged, and uh, this is the result that we would like to obtain introducing our reinforcement. Now we have seen uh, the uh, classic method to understand uh, what are the parts of the structure that must be strengthened and uh, in the way uh, the strength will uh, act on our structures. Uh, another way to do this is to use a new tool on the, on the software, the validation tool, that can uh, help us to understand uh, the state of uh, each element. So we can move back to the model uh, before the strengthening and uh, opening the results of uh, one of the analysis, uh, uh, clicking on the detail, uh, we can uh, move to uh, the uh, measuring PR of uh, uh, wall P3 uh, that we have seen before as a uh, um, um, shear uh, failure. So clicking with a right click on, uh, on the element, uh, there will be um, um, a menu in which uh, we can uh, choose the option to open the uh, validation tool, so the data validation. In this window, uh, we can uh, see uh, the pushover curve of this uh, um, uh, oh, that we have calculated, in this case the number 23, uh, in which uh, there are some uh, uh, special points. Uh, so clicking on calculating the main, we can calculate the uh, resistance domain of uh, the measuring pier we have selected. Uh, on the curve there are all the points of the calculation, there are especially uh, two points, uh, the first one in yellow and the, sec and the second in uh, uh, light orange. The first one is for the shear damage and uh, uh, the other one is for uh, the uh, failure for, for shear, better the step for the failure of shear. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, in, um, there is correspondence uh, through uh, the uh, data in, uh, in the pushover curve and the one that uh, we can have here in, uh, in, in these tools. Uh, on, the, on the top right, uh, there is the, the resistance domain with the two curves uh, related to the shear and uh, the bending moment uh, applied uh, of, of, our, uh, of our element. On the, the top left, there are all the parameters related to, to the element. So there is the geometry, uh, the forces applied, the especially the normal forces applied on it, the, the materials and uh, the eventually the reinforcement on, uh, on the element. Uh, this is the, uh, as you can see here on uh, the um, resistance domain, uh, the, the red point is the point that represents the point when we select it into the curve. So in this case, uh, the point is exactly on the, the orange line, it is the one for shear because we are in the point uh, where uh, there is the, uh, the damage for shear for our element. So this is current with, uh, with the results from our, our curve. Uh, the, the black one instead is uh, uh, the line for, uh, for bending. 
Uh, and in this case, uh, bending is not the, um, the damage that, that is being uh, um, uh, related to, to the element. So, but what we can do to understand uh, if uh, our reinforcement could be a good solution or not? Uh, we can go through a simulation uh, of the reinforcement on uh, our element uh, in which uh, we are going to uh, calculate uh, again the uh, resistance domain uh, after uh, having applied uh, the reinforcement on the, on the element. So uh, we can uh, move uh, from uh, the curve that uh, on the right and click on the button to uh, run the simulation. In this case, uh, the simulation data now are available and uh, we can uh, try to um, uh, change them to understand if our reinforcement is correct or not or it could be a solution more than correct so uh, uh, we can click on run simulation and we can uh, select from uh, the list of the reinforcement already uh, inserted into the model uh, the FRCM that we have seen before we click on it and then we can calculate again uh, the domain uh, clicking on the button calculate the domain So uh, first you can see that uh, in uh, um, uh, the right part of the window there are two more uh, curves, uh, thinner than the first one, uh, that represent uh, the curve for the uh, uh, simulation of our, uh, of our element. So there, are, there is the, uh, an orange one for the shear and the black one for uh, bending. As you can see here, the uh, red point that is obviously still in the same in the same position now is not on the uh, the lighter uh, um, curve of uh, orange curve that is the curve for the simulation, but is a little bit beh uh, behind it. And uh, uh, this means that in this case uh, the reinforcement uh, could be a good way uh, to not have uh, the uh, um, uh, damage uh, for shear uh, our element in this step of the calculation. Uh, so this uh, simple tool uh, tells us that uh, our uh, reinforcement FRCM could be a good solution, so we can go through the calculation uh, with uh, uh, knowing that uh, this solution could be a good one. Uh, but we can also test uh, other kind of reinforcement or other kind of changing of the uh, condition applied to, to the element. For example, we can also um, act on the, the normal forces applied on the element. For example, we can uh, think about uh, changing uh, the loads from the floors and uh, we can do that uh, reducing uh, the normal forces applied on the elements. Uh, reducing the normal forces, if you can, if you can look at uh, the diagram on the right means that uh, we are going to move uh, the, the, the red and the green point uh, to the left. So moving it to the left it means that uh, we are going to, to um, go to on the uh, black lines uh, for, the, the, uh, for the bending. So maybe reducing the um, normal forces on uh, this element uh, will not be a good solution. Uh, because uh, we are going to change uh, uh, damage from shear uh, to bending, but uh, we will going to, uh, to still have a damaged element. So this is our um, information that can be uh, uh, used before uh, um, thinking about the, uh, the reinforcement, but before doing the, the changes on our structure and then uh, mesh it again, uh, calculate it again. Uh, and uh, it can uh, speed up uh, the uh, procedure to understand uh, which are the um, best ways to uh, um, strengthen our structures uh, without uh, having the uh, need to do uh, the, the whole calculation. So uh, today's presentation now is ended uh, and we are now available to answer your question, uh, me and uh, uh, engineer company Davide, so uh, please uh, 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 write down uh, your question and uh, we are going to answer them uh, uh, at the end of, uh, of this presentation. Thank you very much for your, your attention and uh, see you on uh, the next webinars from uh, Stadata and uh, Caracol.